Welcome to Just A Rad Life. Thanks for stopping by the show. In this episode, we're going to be doing a strawberry grouper, which is also known as a Jamaican butterfish. So stick around. It's one of my favorite recipes to do, and it's a really tasty dish. Thanks for stopping by, Bert. today. So, stirring. And it's good for a little time. Stirring it up for the recipe. So, time. And scaling it out of my backyard garden. Right? Stick around. I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. Gotta clean them off. So, the first phase of this process is to do your stuffing. And my stuffing, I'll show you that in a second. But we want to like melt a half a stick of butter in our pan because we're going to do the stuffing first. Let that butter bubble and do its thing. I'm going to turn this down a little bit too. That way we don't burn our butter. Then I'm going to add a little garlic. Ooh. A little garlic in there. And I love to burn my garlic. I think it just gives it better flavor. So, stick around. I'm gonna add the veggies. Alright, so I got it on low heat. And there's the stuffing. So we got scallion, purple onion, white onion, carrot, thyme, and okra. Now, as you can see, I didn't share a unit of measure for the vegetables that I used for the stuffing. You just pretty much got to go with what you enjoy eating most. So, in other words, you might like more carrots than you like okra, or even spinach, or onion. Just add it to taste. Have fun with it. Time. White onion. Just double it all in there. It'll do its thing. Mix it around. And then for here I would recommend adding the salt and pepper to taste. And I'll add that in a minute. I'm gonna see how much water the vegetables are gonna spring. I still have to add some spinach to this and some scotch bonnet pepper. But let's see how much water it springs. And it's on a low temperature on the side burner, which is pretty intense too, by the way. And you just wanna get them to when the vegetables are just soft. That way when you stuff the fish and you roast it, and you'll see where I'm going with this shortly, but that way when you're ready to roast the fish, it cooks evenly and adds some really cool flavor to the fish. So gonna add a little Himalayan sea salt. If y'all watch my other videos, you know I like Himalayan sea salt. This adds a nice flavor to everything, but yeah man, Himalayan sea salt. And then I'll add a little black pepper to this after just to taste. You know, got our spinach now and generous helping of spinach can never get too much of this in cousin Dorothy this one's for you because you always claim I cook some high high cholesterol stuff but this one is probably my mom and dad's favorite dish that I make for them you know because not a lot of high cholesterol um, and it's fish. Now keep in mind, you can do this with a snapper or a Jamaican butterfish, which is similar to the strawberry grouper that we're doing today. However, we're doing it with strawberry grouper, so I'm just gonna cover that and let it reduce down. And I'll show you what's going on in a little bit, so just stick around. Ah. Here we go. It's fast. It only takes a couple of minutes to reduce it down. 
but you want your spinach and I know it seemed like a lot of spinach but the spinach reduced down we got it going on we certainly got it going on and that is our stuffing and just to give you an idea there it is right there that's the stuffing for the fish so stick around because I'm going to add a little kick with some scotch bonnet pepper shortly. Here's our subject for the day. Strawberry grouper. Seasoned with salt and pepper. And we put scores in the fish just so the seasoning would soak in. Strawberry grouper is a cousin to the Jamaican butterfish. The next stage in the process is wrapping and stuffing the fish so we can get ready to grill. Let me know what you think of my wrapping process. I'd be interested in seeing what your thoughts are. So heavy duty aluminum foil. You want about one and a half of the size of your fish. And I find, you know, Reynolds ain't paying me for this, but I'm just gonna speak it. Reynolds makes some great aluminum foil. And then you just rub your butter on it like that. Drop your Excelsior cracker, and I'll show you what Excelsior crackers are in the video. So I'll post what they are. Just a simple water cracker that's fat free. So here's the second fish. I'm gonna switch sides just so you kind of get an idea. Lay it on top of the Excelsior cracker. And like I said, I love pepper. I love scotch bonnet pepper. Um, although I really shouldn't be eating it as much as I have been lately, but I love my scotch bonnet pepper. So I shove it in there like that, and then I immediately go for the stuffing. And I'm using a glove just to speed up my process, but typically I've seen people use a spoon and this and that, but you know, just make sure everything get in there and your time and everything. And I mean, man, when this thing bubbles and you pull it out, not a little extra stuffing because I really love it. But, all right, let me just get a little bit more in there. And I pack this. I really enjoy the stuffing. It's up to you on how much you want to put in there. Sometimes I put a bed around the fish and the side, but as you can see, our stuffing, the Excelsior crackers, the strawberry grouper, and the layer of butter that I put on the Reynolds wall, um, wrap foil pan. And this is really a unique way to go. So let me show you how I wrap it. I, bring a, I put the fish in the center and bring the foil center. Like I'm almost wrapping a present. And then I give it just a brief fold on the top that's maybe about an inch. And I don't press down on it. I wanna give it a little breathing room because what's gonna happen is, and you'll see this when the fish is almost cooked, your foil is gonna rise. So it's gonna puff up like a pastry, if you will. But then that sense, and then you put your edges in, so the tail edge, and then the head, and here you go. You're ready to go in the grill. And I'll show you another reason why I wrap it that way. But here we go, here's a Napoleon. It's rubbing out at about 550 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect. This should be a really quick cook because the fish is pretty much it's because the fish is pretty soft, so just rest it on there like that. I gotta remember, mine is to the right, mom's is to the left. So just drop them on the fire like that. Set it and leave it for about 20 minutes and you're good to go. Stick around. We're gonna do the reveal and the taste and thanks for stopping by the channel. Yep, the night caught me again cooking in the backyard. But here we go. Strawberry grouper, ready to come off the grill. And this is hot, I had to use an oven mitt for this one. I thought I could pull it up from the fold, but this thing was scorching hot and I didn't want to bun my finger this time. So, I shut everything off, glove off, turn off the grill and take a look at that. Just see the foil, it worked. It held everything in and I'll show you what it 
looks like when we get back inside. The roast fish, ready to go. Got a little extra scotch bonnet pepper. So remember I showed you the wrap before. You typically just reverse it. So you pinch it from the center. And then you just open it up. Look at the smoke and steam come off of that. There. And let me drop this down. I don't want to lose much of the juice, but you can just see the stuffing, how it just goes so nice with the fish. But we go. I'm gonna pinch a little bit from there. Mm. And let me know what you guys think. Like I said, you can do this with several different types of fish. Grouper is my favorite because it's more meatier. Snapper is delicious too. Uh, Jamaican butterfish, doctor fish, grunt. I'm even thinking of trying a bass or a trout, believe it or not, but with some different stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite fish is and if you've tried the strawberry grouper. But look at how meaty and fleshy this is. And the steam is just coming off of it. Mm. Be careful, bones. I'm gonna. Now you saw that side. I'm gonna actually turn it that way too, just to give you another idea with the meat and how it just pulls off of the actual fish. So just look at that. I'm just turning it. It is. Grouper is definitely a meaty fish. Still gotta get into the stuffing on this. Um, but my concern right now is the bones. But look at that. I wish you could smell this. Mm. Get a little carrot. Celsius crackers, just look at them underneath. Look at how that's nice. It's like a dumpling on this. And it helps it not to stick because you saw how easy I lifted the fish from that. But, mm. Slide it a little bit. Oh, that's meaty. That is meaty. Yeah, man. Strawberry grouper. Strawberry grouper. No joke. If you're not really into the bones, I would recommend getting a grouper large enough where they can fillet it from you and you can still carry through this process and get the same result but I just like the whole fish I like to make sure it's fresh and kudos to my fishmonger you guys are amazing mm. it's just a roasty flavor let me give it another twist so you guys can see me with the um with the inside. Stick that in there. Look how the fork just sticks up in there. But yeah. Bring you back to the stuffing. Sorry about my arm. But yeah. Just take a look at that. And how the stuffing and everything is just right and proper. It's a good healthy fish. So cousin Dorothy, this one was for you. This is my mom and my dad's favorite dish that I make for them. Mm. You know, whether it be with whatever variety of fish that I'd mentioned previously. Oh, let me go more for the stuffing. I got some spinach in this. Give me a second. So this kind of pulls off. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Oh. Well cooked. Yeah, so let me know in your comments 
on what's your favorite fish to roast. Let me know what you think about this recipe. If there's something I missed that I could have added, please let me know. And some people add bummy to this, or certain pieces of cassava, Irish, which is what, it's a potato, but we call it Irish in Jamaica, but let me know what you guys add to it. Appreciate you stopping by the channel. Our rendition of Jamaican roast fish. In the meantime, I'm gonna finish this strawberry grouper, but bye for now, and walk good. Mm. Man alive, this is really meaty. Mm.